Hey everybody, it's Bob Petito, and today we are going to take a look at all of the ways that you can search in Glide. Glide has come out with many new features over this past few weeks, which is going to make your app building process much more efficient. And we're actually going to start right here in the app dashboard with a feature that's been around since the beginning, and it's the ability to search and filter your existing apps. So here, if I want to look for an app of mine, and my app list is gigantic, right, um, you can just simply search for it. So if I'm trying to find my meet with us app, I can just search for the word meet and boom, there it is, right? So this whole premise of searching and filtering content is going to uh, hang around a little bit with some of these new feature releases that Glide has given us over these past couple of weeks. So this is number one, being able to search and filter your existing apps. While we're here in the dashboard, I'm going to talk about a few new features. Uh, first is the ability to reorganize your team folders here. So if you have a team folder that you're constantly accessing, but it's way at the bottom of your list, well, now you can bring it to the top of your list, which is going to be super nice, right? Um, being able to organize your content thusly. Uh, you can also, within a team folder, star your apps. So then that way they pop up on the top of your team folder and lets you know that these are the ones that maybe you should be focusing on while some of these may be some of the ones that um, are your experiments or archive apps. All right, so after finding an app that you would like to edit, for example, my Meet With Us app, um, once this opens, I'm going to show you a few of the new features that Glide has released, um, which again is going to make your content creation much more efficient. All right, so number one is the ability to view the data for this screen without having to keep toggling back and forth between the data editor and the layout view. So here you see that I'm on the home tab. And what's nice in Glide is that if I click on the data editor, it, it's very contextual and knows that I was on the home tab here. I was on a screen that was referencing the home sheet, right? But if I dive into a calendar, well, now I'm on a screen that's referencing the calendar sheet. And if I visit the uh, Glide Data Editor, it knows that and sends me to the calendars sheet here, which is, again, super handy. But what if I want to edit this information and my, um, maybe my sheet is a thousand rows long, right? It's going to be kind of a pain to dive into the data editor, scroll to try to find the correct, um, the correct row, and then make adjustments there. So what Glide has given us is the ability to view this row's worth of data right here on the layout screen by going to the data tab here in our component list in the bottom left corner. So now if I click on data, we see that these are all of the columns that pertain to this row's worth of data. So here you see the row ID is EQXU P something something. And if I dive into my data editor, that's this row right here, where EQXU P something something. So all of these columns worth of data can be visible by going to the data section and scrolling up and down instead. So it's a bit more readable, which is nice. And this is live, right? So I can click into any of these. If I want to change Jack's calendar to Jack's awesome calendar, I can just double click in here and adjust as necessary. And you see that it automatically updates my content here in my app, right? So um, I got a nice quick and easy way to adjust your content, to adjust the data without having to navigate to the data tab itself. Uh, you can also add new columns. So if I want to add a pretty image on top, and I want a new um, image column, right? I can add a new column and I can search for image, right? And add a new image column here if I'd like. So again, a way to add new columns of data without having to go to the data editor and add a column this way. All right, so that being said, let's actually spend some time in the data editor. Um, here are some ways that you can find content as well. Uh, Glide did give us this find column box of about a month or two ago. And what's nice is, again, this will search for the columns not only in the sheet we're currently in, but will also search for all of the columns in all of the rest of the sheets. So if I'm trying to find, hey, where does that photo appear, right? I can search for the word photo in my find column box. And we see that I have two um, sheets that use photo, this calendar sheet and this user sheet. And so if I select users, okay, well, here is that photo column. And I guess that calendar one is kind of a fluke. So calendar didn't have a photo column, uh, but users does. And here it is, right? So not, not only do my searching 
for this uh, column in the screen I'm currently in, uh, but it also searches across all of the sheets. And if any of those sheets doesn't have a column with this name, it filters it out altogether. So if I backspace a couple of characters, we see that I also have a column that starts with PHO or has PHO in it in my booking sheet. And so if I tap my booking sheet, I can see that it was related to my phone column here, P-H-O-N-E. Right. So this is really nice trying to find email. Where do I use email, right? I use email in my user sheet, I use email in my calendar sheet, and I use email in my booking sheet. All right. All right, in addition to that, uh, we also have the ability to find data, right? So if I want to find the word Bob in this calendar sheet, what I can do is use the keyboard shortcut Command F on a Mac it's Control F on a Windows device. Um, and now I'm searching this particular sheet, this calendar sheet, for any sort of keyword. So if I search for Bob, I see that there are six results. And if I use the down and up keys, right, I can navigate around my sheet here to find the data that matches that key term. Now you see that as I'm scrolling through, it's jumping around my sheet quite a bit, right? So if there is some information and I really want to just look at one column at a time, we can actually use a combination of those two. For example, if I go to my user interface sheet and search for Wednesday, I see there are nine results. And as I'm bouncing around here, you see it's just kind of haphazardly bouncing me. It's like, I'm not sure exactly what my, where my context is, right? So maybe I want to search for um, uh, the word Wednesday in my date today column. Okay, so search, I can, so first I can search for date today, date today, okay, uh, which takes me to these three columns. And now if I search for Wednesday and go down, I see I have eight results, not nine. And now I can quickly just kind of scan through these two columns here without having to bounce all the way around my sheet everywhere. So I have a little bit more just visual context as to uh, my, my key term search. So again, you can use any combination of uh, column search as well as keyword search uh, in your Glide data table. All right, another handy feature that Glide just came out with about a week ago is this find all uses. So let's say I'm editing this app, I'm done with it, I publish it, I come back to this app a month later and I'm trying to figure out, okay, when am I using this date month display in my app, right? Now you can click on the down arrow here and you can find all uses of this column. So if I click on find all uses, we see that I am using this uh, this date month display in this computed column in the UI sheet, which is this date month TD display. And what's nice is that most often when you click this arrow here, it'll take you to that sheet. Now I'm already in the UI um, uh, sheet here, so it's not taking me there, but uh, I would imagine maybe eventually down the line that clicking this button will also take you directly to that column. So it'll maybe scan and try to find that column for you, which would be nice. Um, for example, here in the users sheet, if I click on uh, email and do find all uses, you see I'm using this all over the place. I'm using it in a computed column. Again, computed columns are columns in Glide that exist only in the data editor, like relations and lookups. I'm using it in this particular action, this custom action of this book meeting. And I'm also using it in this component, these two components, this, um, this button for my opponents and also this email entry. And you can tell you what screens they're on, what tables they're in, and so forth. And by clicking this arrow, it'll take you there, which is fantastic. So maybe I'm like, oh, maybe I want to edit this action, right? I can click on that arrow and it'll actually open up that action for me and even highlight the, uh, the, the portion of that action or screen or component in which I'm using the email. It was this add row action here. And so clicking in here, I can now see where am I using email? There it is, user email. So what's really nice is that you can use this to determine if you're even using any of these columns anymore. If you go to um, do find all uses and you get this column isn't used anywhere, okay? Well, that probably means that you can safely delete that column and it's one less uh, column taking up space in your data editor. 
So that's the find all uses. Again, super handy uh, to be able to quickly navigate to a particular column or component or action in your app from the data editor. What's nice is that the reverse is true. Let's say I'm working in an app and I click on a particular element and in my title, right, I can go to any of these columns worth of data and you see that now there's also that same arrow here. So maybe I'm thinking about using uh, a title of um, this time, like, well, is this the right one? Let me see what this actually is. I can click on this arrow here and it'll take me to that screen, or to, sorry, to that correct sheet here. And I'm looking now for the uh, end time, which would be somewhere in this sheet. So it takes me to the correct sheet, which is pretty nice. All right, one more super handy feature that just came out today is, sorry, today, uh, sorry, yesterday, is this um, notion of being able to search for the columns that you want. And this is really, really, really handy. It's probably one of the best features of 2021 in terms of my opinion in Glide um, because it'll help you to more efficiently build your apps without having to spend time searching for the content or browsing or trying to find the content that you've already created. So here in my calendar sheet, for example, I have just columns and columns and columns of data, right? And sometimes when I'm trying to find the correct uh, the correct column, it can get a little tedious, right? So I'm trying to find, okay, what title am I supposed to use? I know it's in my calendar here somewhere, but is it in this grouping? Is it in this grouping? I'm just browsing around, right? And if you don't even have your column grouping set up yet, then you're just endlessly scrolling up and down trying to find the correct column, and it's just a hassle. Well, now you see right at the top here, you have the ability to search your columns when you're going to add them to a component, right? We're going to configure a component. So maybe I'm trying to find the name of the calendar, right? So I can search for maybe the name. Ooh, yep, so name. And not only does it search the, uh, the sheet for the current screen you're on, but it'll also search your user profile sheet as well. So here you see I searched for the word name and I didn't get any hits for the calendar sheet, but I did get a hit in my user profile sheet, name. And so if I were to select this, you see that my name now appears here, which is obviously not what I want for this. Um, but just to, just for proof of concept, you can quickly view the calendar name. Maybe I'm searching for the calendar title. Maybe that's the right one. Search for title, right? Oh, there it is, calendar title. There we go. Right. So again, nice, easy way to find the content you want without having to spend all the time just browsing and trying to, trying to find the content. You can quickly just add it using the search filter there. Another feature that just came out is the ability to copy and paste components from one screen to another. This doesn't really have much to do with searching, but it does have everything to do with being efficient, right? So let's say I am creating a screen and I want to display this exact styling of list of calendars on this screen and I want it on another screen as well, right? What you can do is you can right click on the component and do copy. And then any on any other tab, you can right click on uh, some, and any other component that is and paste, right? And then you see that you have an exact replica of this component on that screen, complete with the styling, with the visibility features, filtering features, any actions that are assigned to it um, will copy over as well. Um, this works. 90% of the time uh, how you would want it. The only time that this doesn't necessarily work how you want it is if you are copying and pasting a component from one screen that has a source of one sheet and pasting it into a screen that has a source of a different sheet. So for example, if I were to copy this, go to this screen here, and I paste it in here, okay? Um, that worked really nicely because I think I was already in the calendar sheet and you see that it also copied over the action just fine and copied over the, um, uh, the visibility conditions just fine, that component as well. So again, super handy to be able to replicate data from one tab to another. Um, this works also for forms as long as the source sheet is the same. Um, 
So again, a nice, easy way to make your app building process more efficient. All right, so that's a rundown of all of the new search and navigation features in Glide up to July of 2021. Hopefully these features will make your app building process much more efficient. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, or you can find me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.